Well, hello to all of you. I am Bishop Christopher DeForest. I am the bishop. Do you know what that means? I'm still working that out myself, but I think <laughs> that it's, uh, it's centered in the idea that uh, we are all church together, and people lead in different positions. They do different kind of jobs, and they have different roles. And my role is to help congregations and pastors and deacons, the leaders in the synod and the congregations that work together here to um, fulfill their life, to do the things they're supposed to do, to help them find pastors, to help them connect with other congregations, uh, and generally to make sure that things are centered in Jesus, right? Which is what your pastor does and what the congregation does and what each of us do as well. And it's a, in a particular area called the synod. Do you ever heard that word before? It's kind of a strange word. S-Y-N-O-D. I spelled that backwards. S-Y-N-O-D. <laughs> right? Uh, synod. And it means walking together. That's what we do. We walk together uh, serving God and loving God and loving each other. Uh, and so we get uh, an opportunity today to gather on a Sunday like we do. And I get to show up here especially because we are installing your new pastor, Pastor Matt Hacker. Installing. Now what does that mean? Is it like a battery? You know, you put a battery in and... No, it's not the same thing, right? That's one way we use the word install. What, what do you think? It's welcome. Is that what you said, welcome? Yeah, absolutely welcome. Like, so glad you're here. Yippee. Yay to God. Alleluia, which means yippee God. Alleluia. We're so glad that God has brought us this pastor, and we're so glad we get to work together. That's what that means. And so there's an interesting song that goes, um, Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Do you know that song? <laughs> I think maybe we were even going to think about singing that song, but we didn't quite put it all together. But it has, another, it has another tune to it, and that one doesn't come to my mind as easily. But um, there's an interesting word in there, consecrated. What does consecrated mean? You ever heard that word before? Oh, gosh. What's this say? <laughs> this row is reserved, is reserved for the children during the... This is, these are your special seats. <laughs> this is exactly what I was trying to tell you in this message. Why didn't I just pick up the... Thank you. <laughs> because we're about to hear a lesson today about a, a fella named Jeremiah, okay? He, um, was, he was a boy, and God came to him. Don't know how that happened. It's, I don't, they don't give you all the details. You can't see it like a TV show. But he, God came to Jeremiah when he was a boy and said, before you were in your mother's tummy, your mother's womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. There's that word. And I then appointed you to do a job, which is, in his case, to proclaim to the nations. And he was just a boy, and he said, oh, gosh, I, I, I'm a boy. You know, nobody listens to me. I'm too little. But God says, no, you're not too little. And the deal is that it's pointing out the fact that all of us have great stuff to do. And that word consecrated means, this is my definition for it, okay? Means um, God declares you special to God and has a special purpose for you. And this boy said, I'm too little to have a special purpose. I can't work. I can't get a driver's license. They didn't have them then. But, you know, that kind of thing. I'm too young for that. And God said, no, you're not too young to start right now. And that's the deal, you know. We all live in 
community together, and we do a thing called getting baptized, right? And baptism is a way that God says to us, you're so special to me and to this, this group, this community, and I have a special purpose for you. Now, that's often done, you know, was anybody here baptized when they were a baby? Yeah, some are baptized older, that's great too, but, you know, oh, right there? Right, oh my gosh, and look at where I'm standing. <laughs> Man, this is like being painting by the numbers. Have you ever heard of that? It's like a pastor painting by the numbers, or a bishop painting by the numbers. So, that baptism means that at that moment, all of us were declared beloved, loved by God, special by God, and have a special purpose. But when we're babies, we can't do much. But we can be, and we're surrounded by parents and, and sponsors, godparents, and a group like this, our family of church, and our family of workplace and, and schools, and they help us to do the work that we have to do, because we're all doing it together. None of us is in this by ourselves. So yes, you have been given special chairs to hear this message, so you can go share this message with other people, right? You get to proclaim to the nations, just like Jeremiah got to, how special God feels you are, how God loves all God's people and sees them as special, and all has special purpose for them. I don't know what your whole life will be like, but right now you have special purpose. You don't have to wait till you're grown up to do that. And you get to figure it out together with your teachers and your, your family and this family here. So when you go back and throughout the day today, why don't you ask them, hey, dad, mom, uncle, aunt, whatever, what is your special purpose with God? And dare to claim something. And then you can say, I think my special purpose might be, and then something that you do to make life better for the people around you, not just the ones that you know, but the people that you don't know, and especially the people that need love. Because a lot of what you're going to hear about this morning is how much God loves us and loves those who are, don't feel the love right now. Okay? And so, I invite you to do that thing. Your purpose today can be to wonder about your purpose. And you can start that purpose right now. All of you. And by the way, all of you out there who have your special seats too. <laughs> right? We'll talk some more about that. All right, let us pray together, okay? Do you want to repeat after me? Can you do that? Maybe, I don't know if you ordinarily do that, but let's do it that way, okay? So, ready? Oh God... Dear God, you are wonderful. Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Amen. All right.